I didn't see a color. He wasn't black, he wasn't white, he was Elvis. And that's why I think we all identify with him. He was deep. He was ahead of his time, like everyone says, because he just brought all types of people to listen to his music without it having any racial barriers. It was like an earthquake in my neighborhood. The whole place was shaking when he came on. And I said, how could a person possess that kind of power? That it even comes off the TV and grab me in this ghetto neighborhood. Rock and roll's great power is the influence of gospel and the blues in equal parts. It's like Elvis had one hand on the positive terminal, one hand on the minus. Yeah, yeah. And that extraordinary dance that he did was just the look of the electricity just going through somebody who's trying to hold on so tightly. Ready, ready, ready to rock and roll. It was middle of the 50s, Cold War. America looking for a hero. Elvis took my two to fruity, and, and I was very disgusted. But by him saying it, he really made it bigger and made me bigger. During those days, if it was a white artist doing something, they would just say, they don't like our blacks and we don't like them either. He's nothing but a copycat. But he always pressed me when he came on. Tix was screaming and going crazy, and it was just like any other neighborhood. And I said, this guy's got something going, man. Elvis had something that made him sound like he truly meant it, and that's what made a lot of people like myself like him. I think Elvis had lots of soul. He appealed to black people. He definitely had to have soul in order to do that. You just don't see many rock stars, you know, walking around flashy like Elvis. You see hip-hop stars like that, the gold chains and the rings and the Cadillacs and whatnot. He wore more bling than most of the hip-hop artists do now. Every rock star that will come after Elvis is going to be Elvis in some way, even if it's someone like Puff Daddy. You know? Black American music influenced Elvis. The fact that people say, well, he's the king of it all, king of rock and roll. Um, it's a slap in the face to those that, that made the music possible in the first place. Not to say he wasn't brilliant, I think he was a fantastic, talented singer. People say, well, you know, he stole everything from black people. So I actually spoke about something against that in Fight the Power, said, well, we got our heroes too. And most of our heroes coming out of the hood don't appear in no stamps. Elvis was a hero to most, but he never meant to me if he That's not saying that Elvis was whack. Elvis was a brilliant artist, it's just that he had to share. I mean, that seat was full with about, you know, 16 booties that contributed to rock and roll. I don't think Elvis ever meant to steal anything. We don't have a choice if we're born black, white, poor, rich, whatever it might be. And I think he did this from his heart. And a hungry little boy with the runny nose plays in the street as a cold wind blows in the ghetto. I don't think he ripped them off. I think once something is been exposed. Anyone can add or take from it if they like. He was just so great, so popular, so hot, so anything that he played, it became a hit. To me, they didn't make a mistake when they called him the king. His respect for black music is immense. I think he should be certainly celebrated as um, one of the first great Southern people that, that really, you know, tried to cross all barriers of race. He's left an unbelievable legacy. I don't think if you're a black singer, then only the black people listen to you. I don't think if you're a white singer, only the white people listen to you. There are no rules now. There is no black, there is no white. Elvis, forgive us. Elvis, pray for us. Elvis, Aaron Presley.